here I am sitting with Grant Smiley, also from TV Rock. Get on it. And John Course, Vicious Vinyl. If you don't know them, then you shouldn't be watching. Well, it's, it's like 35, 45 years since, uh, ago <laughs> since uh, these two guys played together at One Love. Because I'll be playing together on May the 31st. You're a top shelf DJ, right? I consider you one of the best DJs in Australia. After so many years, what is it that makes you still relevant today? What, what has carried you for so long? What is it? I don't know if there's one answer. You've got to have lots of things go right. Shh. There's got to be an answer, John. <laughs> You're an intelligent young man. Now, there's got to be an answer. It can be a complicated answer, but there is an answer to this. Well, Why? The only answer I can think of is just keeping in touch with music. I've always bought, always bought new music, and regardless of whether I play an underground club or an overground club or a commercial club or whatever, you'll always hear new music. And I'm always open to hearing new music. You know, somebody said to me the other day, oh, you know, I've lost touch with going out because, you know, I don't like the music anymore. I said, well, the music hasn't changed. You just stop going out. And if somebody 18 stops going out for five years and goes back out when they're 23, they won't relate to the music because they only hear it in clubs. It's just the music. That's the only thing that I think a good, all good DJs keep in touch and on top of the music. You must have seen so many, and I know you have as well, have seen so many music genres like fashionable ones yeah. come and go what's the fucking worst one you've ever seen or heard i should say i was never a fan of the whole sesame treat and that kind of ravey i know it was massive at one stage that wave of kind of early rave that was kind of kiddie-ish i don't know there was magic roundabout you know those all those tunes never really a fan of that just you can just cut away me doing this yes john <laughs> no but uh, no i do agree with you i'm not being a smart but i actually do agree with you to a certain extent how do you two come together and why 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 you two well of course he like you so he mentioned earlier he's been in the no, game no, no. for a while shh, 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 shh. you're doing the finger no, no. again why you why me why, why you why Don't, me and you yeah, yeah why you tell me from you he can tell me you you tell me you <laughs> tell me him tell me what the fuck i just said i'm trying to ask is how did you guys come together because you've now got the uh the radio show on nova I would say you are almost, you're a prominent voice of dance music in the city. I know you don't DJ together, but how did you start working together? Well, it's sort of, I think we we're running sort of parallel parts. I mean, John was doing his own gigs and I was doing my own gigs. And to be honest, it all came together at, at One Love. So that was a great thing, great opportunity to work with John. And that sort of then led to us putting together the pitch to Nova and, you know, one thing leads to another. What's John's story? Yeah, pretty much the same. I mean... No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll tell you my yeah. story. I'll tell you my story. We always discussed music policy and how we thought it should go and how it should evolve. And, you know, um, the house music thing got bigger and, and bigger at the time. And we were always open-minded to having the right sort of musically-minded people involved. The, I mean, I didn't know much about Grant, like what he played. I hadn't gone and listened. But I was like, I knew a bit about his reputation that, and that initially a lot of people wrote Grant off as a... And no offence to you, mate, but they wrote Grant off as a, as a promoter and not a DJ. Because they never come and heard him DJ on his merits. Promoter DJs. Hang on a sec. <laughs> but this is the point, right? There's no reason why a promoter can't be a good DJ. But you can't judge them because they're a promoter as a bad DJ. And a lot of people said, oh, Grant's just at one love because he promotes. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm going to interrupt you. And I know that was rude, but I'm sorry. My opinion is direct opposite, which is if you're a promoter, you can't be a DJ. Be one or the other. Well, Do you know plumbers? That's true. That's true. That's why I left seven. I, I agree in a certain expect. You get to a certain point, right? When, but your friends will stop playing, coming along at some point. And so but you are not a promoter. You are a professional DJ, right? Correct. When Grant come to One Love, he made that distinction and said, I'm not going to be the guy who has to worry about running a night anymore. My career is about being a DJ and playing music. And a lot of people initially didn't take him seriously until... They come down to Prince and saw how well he played. And, and since that point, really, within six months of, of, of being at One Love, people talked about Grant as a DJ and no longer as a promoter ever. Do you know you used to uh, be a ballroom dancing instructor down in Frankston? <laughs> Get fucked. You know, no shit. How can you not know any dirt? You should have found dirt. <laughs> He's you know. going on with Dancing with the Stars in the next series. I don't think so. <laughs> dancing with the Stars. No, so, so hang on a sec. So you two are dancing with yeah. the Stars? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I did, no. Get in, I did get into music through dancing. 
It's a true story. Back in back in East Brighton on my 1970s wank bed, <laughs> uh, I would dance around the protein stains, and that's how I started in dance music. I've got nothing after that. <laughs> I'm just going to have nightmares about you and your protein stained bed. It's crook. I think what we can all take away from this from this small conversation is that one love is the glue that sticks everything together. One love is is Big Daddy who brings people like John and Grant together on such phenomenal nights after two and a half years. I'm just picturing how me and Smiles are going to cut this into our electronic press kit for international promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to speak some Dutch so maybe the, tie <laughs> maybe the Tiesto audiences will uh, appreciate it? Well, that's the bell and uh, <laughs> that's it. Thank you, Grant. My pleasure. Thank you, John. Thank you, mate. And thank you, One Love TV. I'm John Course. I'm Grant Smiley. This is Uncle Festa and you're watching One Love TV.